Interactive Cards This is the most common topic of web development. Card is a UI component that contains content and actions about a single subject. The card serves as an overview and an entry point for more detailed information. The logic behind this is to avoid long texts and make content more readable. So in this video, we will learn to make one type of interactive cards. By the end of this video, you will be able to make interactive cards. Like this. To make this, we have to follow four steps. First step, set up all files and folders. For that, open your file explorer and create new folder. Now inside this folder, create another new folder. In this folder, we will store all images which we need. So, let me add some images. Now, go back to our main folder and drag it to the VS Code. See, our image folder is now ready. Now we have to create HTML and CSS file. Firstly, let's create HTML file. Now, create CSS file. In this way, our setup is completed. That means, our first step is completed. Now our second step is, creating a structure. To create structure, go inside the HTML file. Type exclamatory mark and press enter. Then give it a title here. Now inside the body tag, create div tag. With class container. Now inside this container, create another div tag. With class card. Now inside this card, create h1 tag, with class heading, and add text. Now create p tag, with class info, and add some text. Now copy and paste this card, three times. Now change all these text content. Now set background image for this card. Now copy this background image, and paste it to all these cards. Now, let's see how it looks. See we have created all cards. Now we have to set different background images of these cards. So come back to our HTML file. And change these images. Let's see how it looks now. You can see, background images of all these cards are changed. Now we have to add one last thing in these cards, that is, like icon, and we will use Figma for that. So let's go inside the Figma. As you can see, I have already created this icon, in Figma. If you want to know how to make this, then let me know in comment section. After creating this, copy this as SVG. Then come back to our HTML file. And paste that SVG code in this card. Now let's see how it looks. See we have successfully added this icon in this card. Now let's add this icon in all these cards also. So come back. And firstly add class to this SVG tag, so we can give it a style. Now copy this. And paste in all cards. Let's see how it looks now. See we have added that icon, 
in all these cards. In this way, our whole structure is ready. That means our second step also completed. Now third step is, adding style. To add style, we will use this CSS file. So let's link this file to the HTML file, using link tag. Now go inside the CSS file, add universal style, margin 0, padding 0, and box sizing, border box. Let's see how it looks. See, we have removed all default spacing, now let's get all these cards, in a horizontal line. So, go back, and, get this container class. Here, in CSS file, and add CSS property, display flex. Let's see how it looks now. You can see, all cards are now in horizontal line, now let's bring all these cards, at the center. So, inside the container class, add height of 100 vh. Align item, center. Justify content, center. Let's check it. You can see, now all cards are at the center. Now let's set width and height of these cards, to do that. Get this card class, inside the CSS file. And add height of 270 pixel, and width of 90 pixel. Let's check this. See height and width of these cards are set. Now let's add some space between these. So go back. And add margin, top bottom 0, and left right 15 pixel. See we have created a space here. Now we have to decrease the size of these icons. So go back. And get this class, in our CSS file. And add height and width, of 27 pixel. Let's check it. You can see, size of these icons are decrease. Now let's change the font, of all these text content. So open Google, and search for Google Fonts. Click on this first link. You can use any fonts from here. For now we will use Poppins. So click on this. Now select which fonts you want to use. For now I am selecting, this. And this. Now go here, and select import. And then copy this link. Go to our CSS file and paste that link. Now again go to Google Fonts, and copy this font family. Go to CSS file, and paste that font family, in universal style. Let's check it. See, font of all text is change. Now let's get all this content, at the center. So go back, and inside card class. Add text align, center. See, we bring all these content, at the center. Now we have to get these icons, here at the right corner. So go back, and inside the like button class. Add position, relative. Left, 38%. And top, 10 pixel. Let's check this. You can see, all icons are moved at the right corner. Now we have to make all these icons invisible. To do that, get this path tag, in our CSS file, and add CSS property, opacity, 0. Let's check it. See, all like icons are now invisible. Now let's change color and size of these headings, so go back to HTML file, and get this heading class in our CSS file. Then add color, white, and font size, 22 pixel. See, color and size of these headings are set. Now we have to bring all these heading here, at the bottom. So go back, and inside the heading class, add position, relative, and top, 58%. Let's check it. You can see, all headings are now at the bottom. Now we have to set, all these heading vertically. To do that, go inside the heading class, and add transform. 
rotate, 90 degree, let's check this. You can see, we have set all these headings vertically. Now let's change color and size of these paragraphs, so go back. And get this info class, in CSS file. Then inside this, add color, with hash code, and font size, 10 pixel. See, color and font size of these paragraphs, are set. Now let's bring these paragraphs here. So go back, and inside the info class, add position, relative, and top 100%. Let's check it. See all paragraph are moved here. Now we have to make all these paragraph invisible. To do that, go back, and inside the card class, add overflow hidden. See, all paragraphs are now invisible. Now we have to make corners of all cards curve. So go back, and inside the card class, add border radius, 10 pixel. Let's check. You can see, corner of all cards are now curve. Now let's add shadow here in all cards, so all these heading will be more readable. To add shadow, open new tab, and search for CSS box shadow generator. Now click on first link. Here we will generate shadow. Firstly, scroll down. And turn on this inset. Now create shadow as you want. After creating shadow, copy this line of code. Then go back to our CSS file and paste that code in card class. Now let's check this. You can see, we have added shadow here in all cards. Now let's add another shadow, here outside the cards. So again go to shadow generator. And because of, we want shadow out of the box. Turn this inset off. Now create shadow, as you want. After creating shadow, again copy this line and go back to your CSS file then add comma here and paste that code now let's see how it looks see we have added shadow here also in this way our third step also completed now let's move towards our one last step that is adding animation firstly what we will do is when we hover on any card then width of that card should increase so go back to CSS file and copy this card class and paste here then add pseudo class hover and inside this add width of 190 pixel let's check it you can see width of card is increasing and decreasing as I hover cursor on it but it happens so quickly so let's make it smooth go back and inside card class add transition property wall 300 millisecond ease now let's check it see now it's increasing and decreasing smoothly now we have to do one more thing that is when we hover on any card then their heading should also change their position so go back to CSS file Then copy this, and paste that here. Now copy this heading class, and paste here. Now inside this, add transform, rotate, 0 degree. Explaining this code for those who do not understand, see when we hover, on any card, then their heading, will rotate, to the 0 degree angle. And for the smoothness, go inside the heading class, and add transition, wall. 300 millisecond ease now let's check this you can see headings are also rotating as I hover on any card now we have to also bring those paragraphs which we have fixed here if you remember for that we have to do the same thing again go back to CSS file 
copy this card class and paste here then copy this info class also and paste it here then inside this add top 60% and for smoothness go inside the info class add transition wall 300 millisecond ease now let's see how it looks see those hidden paragraphs are getting visible as I hover on any card but there is one problem see these paragraphs are touching the edges of cards and this does not look good so let's fix this go inside the info class and add margin of 0 and 10 pixel now let's see how it looks you can see we have created little space at the starting and ending of all paragraphs now we have to make those heart shape icon visible which we have added here at the corner of all cards so go back to our CSS file and again copy this card class and paste here now copy this path then paste here now inside this add opacity 1 and for smoothness go inside the path and add transition wall 300 millisecond ease now let's check this you can see those icons are getting visible as I hover on card. Now we have to do one last thing, that is, when we hover on any icon, then their color should change into red. So go back. Copy this path. And paste here. Then attach pseudo element hover. Now inside this, add fill with red color code. Now let's check this. You can see, color of these icons are changing, as I hover on it. In this way, our web interactive cards, are completely ready. Now it's your turn, to make this by yourself. Hope you enjoy this video. Hit like and subscribe button for more videos like this, and see you in the next video.